continent will be challenging. It will be challenging because of the fact that you have a real rise in commercial interests on the one side, a rise in governmental interests. And we're not speaking about the, the more democratic governments, but some governments that are non-democratic and that are saying this, this whole open internet needs to be stopped. And we need to find a way to be able to bring the two to talk together and find a just middle so that we have an internet that continues to foster innovation while at the same time not hurting those people that do not have a strong voice uh, out there, especially speaking of minorities, speaking of those people that are not on the internet yet, and speaking of non-English languages, because that's also another cultural element where one often says, well, wait a minute, the whole internet is very Anglo-Saxon in culture, and it's pretty much smothering every other culture out there. So local content is one thing that needs to be pushed by local communities, and having an internet that everyone trusts is something where every every actor has to, to work into that and um, effectively work to make the internet more trusted than it is today. How to do it? Well, this is what we're here for. That's why we need to discuss, and that's why we need to try and find solutions together.